he cleared his lane and then went to go join the fight on the uh, turtle, which allowed uh, them to get turret advantage for the side of Burmese schools, now leading up by one turret and also able to claim that turret for the uh, turtle for the XP boost. Lord has spawned in Burmese schools at a slight advantage, now leading by 2,000 gold. May be able to clash it out and win these fights. Hiko off to a little bit of a rough start. Yeah, Rob, start a little bit, but uh, the carries also can't find the kind of um, space for a good fight. Always being in the range of that uh, ultimate of Ruby and being not being able to like kind of dodge the, with the second skill or the flicker. Kind of should go with the purify, I guess, but it's uh, too late. Need to work with the flicker now. Yeah, and you're looking at uh, two purifies from Stitch and Nico, which would work great when Sawa tries to pop up that Minoan Fury, but with them on cooldown, could see a possible set on the way. Aggro from the Lord has been pulled, sitting at 50% HP. Kid Bomba rotating around, having some good zonage, trying to keep the side of Burmese schools at bay, but it looks like they may be able to take this uh, Lord. You're looking at a concealed play called out, though. Soxa winding up inside of the will, trying to find somebody to crash into. Double set with the I'm offended, catching two members of Deuce Falls. Big knock up though, on the way from the Minoan Fury. Burmese School is trying to hold out, but Dylan, some massive blows. You're gonna see Deuce Falls rushing in for the kill. Hiko finds Delar, gets another, takes down Blink. A two for none trade. Make that buy three, get zero deaths as he's gonna be wow. able to take all three of them down for the triple kill and we were wondering how Hiko would kind of play into this off to a little bit nice. of a rough start but now able to find his proper footing great way to be able to take this Lord but little to no contest and now Deuce Foltz may be able to have the lead for this match like Magister didn't even ult on, on the Guinevere he just like uh, Minotaur kind of went in uh, he kind of forced to use his ultimate because he gonna uh, dodge all of the CC and he did and the Guinevere at the same time jumped on the different direction just to save up and didn't even do anything in the fight all of these uh, kills went to carry and the CC basically and the Nana yeah, and now with this Lord, you may be able to see Deuce Foltz claim some more of these turrets. They are now leading up by one, able to take the tier one turret in the mid lane, which means now they have the opportunity to invade the orange and purple bus with little to no contest from Burmese schools, forcing them a little bit further back in their jungle. And you are going to see uh, Kit Bamba. Great rotation around. We'll be able to proxy off this lane, take the tier two turret on the top side, and now a siege for the tier two in the mid. Yeah, tier two is, Lord is being uh, crushed pretty fast and the second wave of minions on the mid lane probably gonna result the tier two tower, but uh, the Deus Vault uh, actually enjoying like uh, three towers and that's gonna be the Lord, uh, uh, called for good Lord, I guess. Yeah, you are gonna see that tier two cleared in the mid lane. Now Burmese schools sitting in their base with only the inhibitors to protect them from that base crystal being bursted down from the side of Deuce Volts. Deuce Volts. Like you said, two M-Series talents, able to place a little bit higher in M5 over Burmese schools, losing to Blacklist and placing fourth place, showing that they've definitely been practicing since the World Tournament. Burmese schools, though, can't count them out just yet. Definitely have a shot. It's only five, uh, five to seven. They're only down by two in terms of kills. But in terms of gold, you're looking at a 3,000 gold lead for the side of Deuce Volts. Yeah, and the map control just rotated uh, back to Burmese goals. They kind of, Deuce Vault kind of didn't want to uh, presence here on the uh, enemy side of map and just went back, let Burmese goals go out, probably maybe for next their attack. Yeah, and you're looking at the item showcased on the board so far. Nana, Sunset Lover, even though he's not high in kills, he has some massive magic damage. Has the uh, Genius one, also stacked up the Divine Glaive. For some of that additional late pin you're looking at uh, some good ground control deuce Volts playing very comfortably but they are going to lose that bot side nobody there to kind of fend off those minions kid bomba trying to get there in time but it will fall there will be another turret into the hands of burmese schools and now currently still down by three they still need to find a way to equalize this economy when it comes to the 5v5 engagement we've seen deuce Volts able to kind of win it win it out hiko pulling off that massive triple kill and also allowing them to get the lord has definitely turned this back around in their favor but can they maintain this lead? Or will we see Burmese schools find a way to disrupt their synergy? Yeah, and the Nana having this uh, James Bond stats and <laughs> gonna <laughs> try to, I don't know, get some kills probably in the next uh, fight. Nathan here with the Ruby trying to maybe pick some random kills uh, on the other side of map of the Lord, knowing that whole team of Deus Wolves are probably gonna get for the Lord. 
here. I mean, I don't know. That's a weird, kind of weird decision. And they might find carry here, which spot them immediately. Even pop the ultimate for uh, additional movement speed just to, to keep herself safe and uh, running into the Lord. Just look at Kid Bamba with the mobility over there with the CC, pressuring Dlar and Soxa from even being able to enter the Lord Pit, providing some great vision for the side oh, of Deuce the right there. there as well. Yeah, and the damage is there. Definitely being a problem. He just picked up that Athena shield too. It looks like he was a little bit worried about Nico, uh, possibly uh, Stitch as well, dealing some massive damage. But now, able to kind of frontline, provide the vision, and keep Burmese schools from entering the Lord Pit seems to be his primary objective. But it's a battle of patience, right? Both teams trying to bait mm -hmm. out some utility to be able to engage and take this neutral objective. Yeah, just like it's so, like it, you, you can clearly see what I meant by the why Lil Gun is going for the 50-50 Lord. Like, see, Deus will don't want to go towards the 50-50 Lord. They baiting enemy to attack the enemy and only then taking the Lord. That's exactly what I was uh, asking. Like, why, why, why do you want to go for these fights? Ooh, speaking of fights, Kid Bamba now taking a little bit of damage, sitting at about 75% HP. Entropy being activated by Stitch a little early, not inside of the Lord Pit, though. Magister will claim the Lord for Juice Fulton. Now going to go in for the punish knockup with the Manoan Fury. Going to go ahead and get Soxa airborne. Not going to be able to get the kill. Hiko, though, will take down Dlar. One member falling from inside of Burmese schools and also a Lord into the hands for Deuce Fultz. Ah, and and uh, Minotaur couldn't, he, he used first skill plus flicker, but he couldn't press ult right immediately and he got stunned and only then he ulted. If he just spammed the ultimate, it would result in probably more kills at this point. Yeah, now with this Luminous Lord, make his way on the top side. Deuce Vault's in a great position to be able to open up the base from Burmese School. They only have their inhibitors to really go through. We're sitting at that 15 minute mark, 45,000 gold compared to 41. This is officially the late game and you are looking at Deuce Volts. Gonna go ahead and sink these lanes. Lord will be making his way on the top side. Will the shields of Burmese schools all the way out from Myanmar be able to hold off the dagger from Russia with Deuce Volts pushing through? The mid lane is being probably gonna get pushed and the top lane uh, actually lord is going to cast his skill on the turret and when you're trying to catch the ruby here jumping in having the second phase of the second skill baiting ultimate and trying to risk it all three lanes is being pressured top lane by the lord and other two lanes by the heroes mid lane is fallen already ultimate here on minotaur but it's super risky he still get the ultimate but stuns no one Blar can't get his own ultimate decapitate on the minotaur and try to reverse and take it and uh, <laughs> kind of failed a lot uh, not the place you want to be here Ooh, they're going for the game ender though they don't have that much minions though 50 percent on the base crystal socks are very low kibamba able to get the kill maybe able to get another pops of vengeance another will fall sunset lever with flying stitch Pay attention to the base crystal though. Hiko will find Blink. Blink gets Sao right before he falls. Hiko takes down Nico. Full wipeout for Burmese skills out from Myanmar as Deuce Volt will claim victorious, only losing Sao. And will be able to claim the first match of the series today in group stage A. Off to a great start and showcasing their mastery since the M series. Yeah, Deuce Volt show that they have the patience. Adopted recently by looking for solutions for the team who's losing, but right now I cannot, I cannot give and provide a solution. I can just say that they can wish for a miracle. Look at the goal difference and look also at the jungler's uh, XP difference. It's so huge. Look at the, even the damage from Sans. Everything is in for the favor of Team Onik. Uh, uh, please don't keep it. Keep it as of the flicker and don't group off Team Flash. This one mm. Skiboy smells that, they're gonna take it out. They wanna go for the play, the Hail Mary play onto Kyrie, But the Conceal is just too short at this point. Not gonna be able to reach a Nolan for now, they don't have the Conceal. Sun mm. gonna be chucking down Hades. This is a scary situation. Vanix, oh! are you a no shot? Galaxy at the 3, and the damage is there! No need for explanation as Onik erupts! Oh! And takes out Team Flash just like that Skiboy with the Flicker implosion play! Onyx That's clean! Destiny, Steve Bash.
That's clean! That's so clean! What a perfect execution! There's nothing to replay! This was, this was one time thing! You cannot show it twice on camera! Four members go down! Ultimate flicker with the second skill from Keyboy! The savior now is the initiator and he is recalling for the enemy as they say in Indonesia! Oh, tas, 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 tas. Whew! Hands with just the pokes enough to force Cortese out of there. And wow. Anik are leading 13 and 0. And how much are they leading? It's, it's 11. Uh, 13,000 almost. Inside of harsh. Onik. Very, very difficult to come back from. Lord easily taken by the side of Onik. And we're running uh. out of solutions now for Team Flash. Yeah, the solution. As I told, they need a miracle oh, the solution. Going for Albert. Albert Ooh. doesn't have the purify. Good shot now coming from Diablo. The opening was there. I think it's that at this over point, at least for Diablo, is it is it fair to say that any kill on any member of Team Onik will be a shutdown? I think it's safe to say that, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be massive, especially on Albert with uh, four, uh, four kill streak. Mm -hmm. That actually elevated Diablo as the richest guy now for Team Flash. They need more Keyboy. Keyboy oh. now. Do you really want to go on to Keyboy now? Because Kairi <laughs> is on the left side. I'm sure he's not JPL. Isn't JPL supposed to be the one who's receiving damage and face checking? What happened? Exactly. What happened to this mythology? Methodology. Well, Kairi 6 0 and 7. At 10 minutes, he's level 15 again. So. <laughs> Nobody wow. can last against this Nolan. Well, I bet, and I will leave you to lead this, but Keyboy is just terrifying at this moment. Okay. 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 Shot for now. Okay. Up there. Lucky. This the big one to go for it for the kill. Look at the damage from the gore. JPL. Now with trouble. JPL out, but Keyboy as well. It's going to be Carry going in for the push. Actually, the turret survives for now. That means that Onik weren't able to just really dive onto the bottom side of the map. But it's a two for one. Diablo wants to go for the opening. Kyrie dodges that. No chance for Diablo to land the ultimate. Final slash. And Onik Sliv will just get out of there. Diablo, do you really want to go to Kyrie? You don't have the damage. Oh my god. 13k gold lead in a matter of 11 minutes for the Sky Kings. This is terrifying for any team. And to be fair, I have just uh, recalled a memory. Oh, look, before I recall my memory, but look oh, at this, Kyrie. Okay. But the retribution and a double dash. They get a triple. Mm -hmm. Kyrie gets out. In comes the cavalry. Everybody going for the going for the intercept. Boots and Keyboy. I gotta find any mm -hmm. Sansis here. I have to be careful now if you're JPL. Cannot face check. That's well, gonna be enough. If you can recall with me, there was a scenario where Team Onik were losing so badly against AB Bren in the right. World Championship in the That's finals, right. and the goal, the goal deficit was magnificent. It was huge yeah, between both of them. Perhaps. It took one, one moment, just one correct team fight, and at this moment, I think that the only person who have a solution is Diablo. Diablo with a yeah. flicker final slash might turn everything around. The Lord is up now and Team Flash sure. somehow want to engage. Uh, there's no chance at all. Look at Keyboy so uh, positioning. Can't show yourself. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Do you really want to go for this? JPL is trapped. Can it go away? And that's JPL. Easily taken out by the members of Onik. A disastrous play coming from JPL. Wasn't able to go through the wall. With his mm -hmm. small dash from the ruby, and that's trouble. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a huge trouble. Trouble for Team Flash. They didn't even use any resources. They didn't use any ultimate. Not not even a spell to take JPL down. And look at Sans just with one uh, first skill with with that this tiny ball that he's keep throwing. Oh, oh JPL. Oh, JPL. Okay, good snatch. It's gonna be a great play as Sans is taken out, so mm -hmm. is out. So called teamwork to take out, uh, to, to push Keyboy down, but they're tanky. 
And with all due fairness, Team Flash are able to defend the Lord Push for now. With the immense amount of wave clear that they have. That's, this is where he is actually as the Barrett's uh, has a lot of like advantage. Key boy. They want to dip their uh, toes in this. In this. The JPL going in for the I'm offended play. Just has to get out for now. And Team Flash so happily will take this defense. This is so dangerous. Team Flash are taking every risk that they they could they that they could have think of, uh, thought of, because yeah. it's a really dangerous play right now. Just one mistake can cost them the game. They are trapped behind the inhibitor turrets. One of the inhibitor turrets is even down. And look at the turrets from the side of Team Onik, untouched, untouched. What? N nowhere. There is no. Oh, look at Keyboy. Oh, JPL going in for the kill. Okay, Keyboy is low. There's gonna be mm -hmm. immortality mm -hmm. pop. He might go for the turn up. Does have the flicker. Gets out. And Onik, P uh, and Onik will not be fighting under that turret. Gonna be respecting Team Flash's damage for now. Sentry well. also pop, knowing exactly where the members of Onik are. Mm -hmm. Sans just fishing in for any stuns that he can get with the Mystic Projectile. Huh. Looking at Sans, if you recall to me, and let, let's have a quick look on the, uh, at, uh, on the itemization. Bruno is behind with two items, and everyone, almost everyone, from the side of Team Onik is full builded. But again, it's the same scenario from the previous game. If Team Onik didn't finish while they are strong, while they are in the lead, they might, uh, they might face a huge trouble. Because right now, it doesn't take a miracle for Team Flash. It just needs one correct team fight with a chain of crowd control. Look at oh. oh my goodness, what a projectile coming out from Sans as he stops that conceal play. We don't know wow. if he knew. But what we know of is that he stopped the plan coming out from T Flash. And conceal at this point in the game, Yasu, that's gonna be massive. Yeah, and Keyboy, Keyboy is looking to hunt down the, the at at okay. the same point they are not looking Hades. for the Lord. They want the team oh, fight. Oh, there it is. Keyboy wants to go for the knockup, and they do have the burst onto Hades. Ooh. They baited the Lord. JPL connects onto two. Then burst onto the back. Let's go. Puss is gonna be there. Albert is out. No damage from Monik from now, but Carry secures the Lord. Well, well speaking of damage, Carry now will be outputting the uh. damage. Diablo goes down. And Boots just zoned out the entirety of T-Flash so that the two members will be isolated. Onik mm. claims the Lord and then claims two kills. Marching into the middle. Projectile connects onto JPL, but Boots secures the top lane push. Oh. Boots to go in for more. Goes for the bravest fighter just for the pokes. JPL wants to control Boots for now. No damage from Vanix. Ooh. Now, but Sans outputs the oh. damage. The gush to take him out. Vanix in trouble. Has to get out. Has to regen. Might be a bad time, Hades. No it's big hard. guy passive. This stun connects up the Kurt easy for now. Aurora with the defense. Kyrie, Kyrie wants to go for the play. Hades catches Kyrie. Could this be a good play? Immortality pop. Implosion onto two. Kyrie's down. But there's Ooh. no defense. Double kill for Sans. The Lord. Lord marching forward. Base in shambles. They want to go for the defense, oh. but it's not enough. Slowly and surely, Onik are wiping Albert. the floor with T Flash's members. And that's a 2-0 for the Sky Kings. Full sweep, sweeping the sky once again. Team Onik bring this home.